So today we're going to show how to prove that the gamma distribution is a member of the natural exponential family of distribution. Note that we're using the gamma distribution in this form. So f of x is equal to b to the p x over gamma of alpha times x to the alpha minus 1 times the exponential of minus beta x, where x, alpha and beta are all greater than 0. To show that they are members of the natural exponential family of distributions, you must be able to write them in this form, where f of x is e to the theta x minus b of theta over a of phi plus some function of x and phi. So we begin by taking the logs of both sides. So we get log of f of x equals alpha log beta minus log of gamma x of alpha uh, plus alpha minus 1 log of x minus beta x. And then we get the exponential of both sides. So we get f of x is equal to the exponential of all of the above. And this is where you can start thinking about what you might want to group together nicely. So we're going to say minus beta x. Alpha and beta are joined together. Could be a bit of a problem. Plus alpha log beta plus alpha minus 1 log of x minus log gamma of alpha. When your data is in this form, when your distribution is in this form, you'll notice that you really don't want to have to be dealing with this log of gamma of alpha. So ideally, your phi will be strictly a function of alpha only. That's a key thing to make. Because then I see alpha and beta are inextricably linked here. How do I get rid of that? Well, I divide it by alpha. So I get exponential of minus beta over alpha x plus alpha divided by alpha, log of beta. I've divided above the line by alpha, so I divide below the line by alpha. Plus alpha minus 1, log of x minus log of gamma of alpha. I then notice that I can make life easier for myself by multiplying above and below the line by minus 1 equals exponential of beta alpha of x minus log of beta over minus 1 over alpha plus alpha minus 1 log of x minus log of gamma of alpha. I compare this line with this line here. And I note that I would like to make theta is equal to beta divided by alpha. Phi is equal to 1 over alpha. A of phi is equal to minus 1 over alpha. So my only remaining problem here is this beta on its own. So if b is equal to theta alpha is equal to theta divided by phi. Log of beta is equal to log of theta minus log of phi. 
Therefore, I can now write this expression here, marked as star, in terms of theta and phi. So I have is equal to the ex exponential of theta x minus log of theta divided by minus phi minus times a minus is a plus with a minus underneath becomes plus log of phi over phi really doesn't matter plus 1 over phi minus 1 log of x minus log of gamma of 1 over phi at this point just remember to do a little bit of tidying up so you have the exponential of theta x minus log of theta over minus phi plus a function of x and phi. Now, if there is a function of x and phi, b of theta is equal to log of theta a of phi is equal to minus phi. At this point, you have shown that the gamma distribution is a member of the natural exponential family of distributions. What immediately follows from this is to find the expected value and the variance. So the expected value is differentiate b of theta with respect to theta so it's d d theta of log of theta which is equal to 1 over theta keep these in terms of theta at present so that's theta to the minus 1 the variance of x is equal to a of phi times the second derivative with respect to theta of b of theta. This is why it's important to keep it with respect to theta at present. So it's equal to minus phi times differentiate d d theta of theta to the minus 1, which is equal to bring the minus 1 down and becomes phi time over theta phi even over theta squared. I recall that theta is equal to beta over alpha. Phi is equal to 1 over alpha. So my expected value of x equals 1 over theta equals alpha over beta. My variance of x is equal to phi over theta squared. So it's equal to 1 over alpha times alpha squared over beta squared is equal to alpha over beta squared. What remains to be shown is how does the mean value relate back to your canonical parameter and the relationship between the two is the inverse. So theta is equal to mu inverse g of mu equals theta so it's the inverse function which implies g of mu is the inverse so your canonical link function
inverse function. <coughs> 